Hello, and welcome to the Mind Whack first official retro Let's Play. Um, we're going to start out our new Let's Play channel with one of my personal favorite games of all time. Um, it certainly defined uh, a lifetime of, uh, of gaming for me, and uh, it's one of my favorite stories. It is a really well-made game. Um, it's fairly old, um, early 90s, but it definitely is worth a playthrough if you've never played it. Um, it's real easy to find. It's pretty much abandoned where at this point. You can get it anywhere on the internet. Just search for it. Uh, it's by Crime Entertainment, and it is the classic sci-fi story of Dune. So I'll let the, uh, the intro play out for you. The beginning is a very delicate time. Know then that it is the year 10,191. The known universe is ruled by the Padishah Emperor Shaddam IV, my father. without moving. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you. The spice exists on only one planet in the entire universe. A desolate, dry planet with vast deserts. Hidden away within the rocks of these deserts are a people known as the Fremen, who have long held a prophecy that a man would come, a messiah who would lead them to true freedom. The planet is Arrakis, also known as Dune. All right. Let's see here. Quick title sequence, I think. Top of the line graphics, you guys. Fantastic. Look at those flying letters. And credits, which we'll come back to at the end. In these times of the future, man has explored many worlds, traveling through space by the use of the spice. Very interesting. You can smoke it, you can snort it, spice you can use it to travel through space. Substance. It's just it can be found only super on versatile. One planet in the whole universe. That planet is Arrakis, better known as Dune. Yeah, the weird spotty lady just said that. It's a dry, desolate planet with a lot vast of deserts. There's never a drop of rain on Dune. You and there's Paul our character, Atreides, Mr. Paul son Atreides. Son of Duke Leto Atreides. There's the big bad guy. Long-time enemies of your family really likes have Oreos. Have you to control the spice production. Apparently, in their brutal way. But the emperor of the universe has just allowed you and the Atreides family to go on Dune too. Oh, what a nice guy! You are determined to use this opportunity to drive the Harkonnens out of Dune. With the help of the few natives, the Freemen. The Freemen. The story begins as you've just arrived on Dune, in an empty palace located at a safe distance from the Harkonnen fortresses. That's handy. And we begin. All right, so we start out in the palace 
chamber, I guess. Let's make sure we got some subtitles and balloons going here. Voices are turned up. Alright. CD style music, let's say. Let's talk to Mr. Daddy Leto. I am the Duke Leto Atreides, your father. Why is he telling me that he's my father? That's a little weird. But oh well, let's, let's move on. My son. We must mine the spice as soon as possible, or the Emperor will recall us from Dune. Oh, he's gonna make us leave the desert? We don't want that. We've spotted three troops of Fremen around the palace, and I've sent Gurney Halleck to meet them. He's not returned yet. Go there and see what's keeping Gurney. All right, we have an objective, you guys. Oh, he's done talking. Can I do anything else? Come with no. me. Nope. I have to stay here. He has to stay here. Mm -hmm. So serious. All right, here's the bedroom area. Look at the mirror. See what we look like. Some options here. Let's go ahead and save the game. Look away. All right. Let's see what we got here. We'll pull up our little map. Let's see, there's the ship down there. Nothing but sand. Awesome. For, for its time, this game was actually incredibly advanced. It was originally on those big old floppy disks. I don't know how many of you watching Jessica. even remember big old the floppy disks. But, uh, to Karthag Tuik. This Go is the outside, CD version, if take you couldn't tell. It's got the voices. Hurry up, my son. I sense danger. I'll have to repeat that for you since I was talking. I'm your mother, Jessica. The Duke has sent Gurney Halleck to Karthag Tuik. Go outside, take an awning, and fly there. Why do all these Hurry people... Up, my son. I sense danger. Like, why do they keep telling me who they are? I'm pretty sure I know who my mom is, right? I don't think I need to be at your side. Oh, fine. I guess she's done talking, too. There's some soldiers sitting around doing nothing. Hallway. Looks like another weird hallway. And we're outside the palace. Let's see. There's there's our ornithopter. It's our flying device there. Let's see. Oh, there's some palace. Some more palace. Oh, now we're in the desert. Alright, well, you don't want to wander around in the desert. In fact, I'll show you I'll show you real quick the dangers of wandering through the desert. Oh, we looked at the sun. That happens too many times, and we will turn into a skeleton in the desert. We don't want that. All right, so here's our ornithopter uh, HUD here. You can see we have three sieges. Carthag Hard, Carthag Timin, and Carthag Tuek. Um, I believe Jessica Mom told us we need to go to Carthag Tuek, so that is where we will go. This will show flying through the desert. There's a lot of this in this game. Most of the time, you can skip directly to where you're going, which I will do now, because later we'll spend a lot of time flying through the desert looking for new sieges. So for now, we're just going to skip those. And here's Mr. Gurney Halleck. So let's talk to him. I'm Gurney Halleck. Ooh. I've served the Atreides for a long time. He is weird looking. Let's I've move just on. come into contact with the Fremen. The Fremen have always lived in the sands of Dune. They live in sieges so well hidden that no one knows exactly how many there are. Not even themselves. I've tried to convince them to work for us. You try, Paul. They may trust you. We'll find out. Let's talk to Mr. Fremen. We've heard of you. You are the son of the Atreides Duke, and of Jessica, the... Could he be the one? Be the one what? We Fremen are the original inhabitants of Dune. We've adapted our way of life to the desert. Well, that was probably a good idea. Uh, Exposition. All right, let's see if it'll work for me, guys. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for you. All right, we got our first troop. Let's see what we can make them do. This is our we troop overlay. Um, 
we can have them specialize in spice or army. They won't do any army stuff right now. We don't have anybody to fight. And we need to be mining spice, so we're going to go ahead and make them do some spice. We'll try to learn. They're going to try to learn how to do spice. We're doing spice mining. And ask them, you know, shows you a very short time. No more orders for now. We'll get back to that. All right, Mr. Gurney. It would be best for us to visit the three sieges together and then return to the palace and inform the Duke. All right, well, let's have him come with us. Okay, Paul, I'm, I'm going, going with, with you. <laughs> you guys will hear that a lot in this game, so you better get used to it. Select um, all right, let's go ahead and go to Carthag. Timmin. Like I said, there's there's going to be a lot of repetition, but um, especially here at the beginning. But I can feel something in you, but I wonder if you will be able to penetrate the secrets of this planet. Dirty. All right. Well, that's all he had. Okay, let's see if it works. For me. I'm not quite sure that you're able to appreciate. Skills. All right, well, he doesn't want to work for me. Did you notice? All the Fremen we meet have blue eyes. Totally blue. No whites in them. It's linked to saturation of the blood with spice. How interesting, Gurney. The Fremen seem to be organized into tribes or troops. Oh, now you're just being ridiculous. It would be best for us to visit the... All right, that's all he has to say. Let's go. This guy doesn't want to work for me yet, so let's go ahead and go to Carthag Harg. Enter. Ooh, it's a fancy new siege. They got a little balcony, and this guy's wearing green. We saw you coming from the other siege. Is that Dave Grohl? Mm. All right, well, he has nothing else to say. Let's see if yes, it works for I agree to let my troops work for you. Hooray! Second troop. Let's see here. We are awaiting your orders. Spice? They know a little about spice mining. They know a little about spice mining. We're so doing that's good. spice mining. No more orders. Can we talk to anybody? Uh, let's look at the map. Let me show you the guys the map real quick. All right, right now. Oops, let's let's. Oh. Right now we can see you know who we've got working for us. You know, the area. Three sieges. Here's a bunch of dune. There's a big fish looking thing. Up here we have got the Arakin Palace, the home base of the Harkonnen. We will be dealing with them much later in the game. And as you can see, this whole place is just one big empty desert. Um, for now, go ahead and exit. Gurney. Let's go and tell the Duke that we have two troops working for us. Alright, so we've done all that we can do right now. We're going to go back home. As you can see, the uh, the sun will set over time. Uh, quite an interesting system, actually, for its time to have a day-to-day uh, -a -day system in a game like this. So that was pretty revolutionary. I'm Duncan Ida. Oh, Mr. The Idaho. Duke asked me to supervise the production of spice. Good for you. What do well, you do? Well, for the moment, I haven't much to do. I hope that we'll be able to extract large quantities of spice very soon. Me too, buddy. If you buddy. really want to know about the properties of spice, ask your mother, Jessica. Here are our current stocks of spice. We have 10 kilograms of spice. Do remember that spice is by far the most valuable substance in the whole universe. And that it can only be found here on Doom. Yes, people keep telling me that. Ah, he's done talking. What about you, the Jesse? Spice is mined from the sand of Doom. Spice prolongs life and extends consciousness. It's used by the guild navigators to travel through space. Yeah, where do you know all this? The proximity of so much spice will do to you, Paul. I don't know either. Hopefully we'll find out. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Duke. The Freeman have a special garment which they call a still suit. Wearing this, they can stay in the desert without losing body fluid. Oh, cool. It would be advantageous for us to have some of these still suits. I want you and Gurney. 
to go and find some of these suits for us. Why does he keep winking at me? Did you see that? Furs his brow, and then he winks at me. And remember, avoid wandering in the desert. You won't go very far. Seriously, what is he winking about? Avoid wandering in the desert, wink. You won't get very far without a still suit, wink, wink. All right, let's move on. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. Sneezing. All right. Go ahead and save it up again. Get on out of here. Let's go find some still suits. In the middle of the night. Nobody sleeps um, in the world of Dune, apparently. Just so you know. We saw you coming from the other siege. Cool. That's not where we came from, but that's okay. I can feel something in you, but I wonder if I'm not quite sure that. Nope. This guy doesn't want to help us. Let's go talk to another. Siege. Music in this game, kind of hit and miss. Um, Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's annoying. There's an eyeball over there. I thought you looked interested in my still suit. Yes, I know a still suit maker. You will find him if you fly eastward in your Orny. It's not very far, but be sure to fly with some. Sieges are well hidden and not easy to find. We are doing spice mining. Here are the characteristics of my crew. Oh yeah, yeah, you can talk to him and get, get, you know, he has 1,900 men living in this tiny cave. Uh, they're only 28% motivated, we'll get to that later. Um, they're still on trial in spice. in spice. Mining. You can get your stats here. Um, they've extracted 27 kilograms of spice, 3 kilograms an hour, so that's pretty good. It's a new job for us. We should improve with some experience. There is a siege exactly. not far from here, eastward. Yeah, and that's, that is a key sentence in this game, everybody. Every time you stop at a new siege, you talk to these guys until you start getting repetition. Or it kicks you out like it just did for me. Um, because every once in a while, one of these guys will give you a little hint as to how to find some more Fremen. And this is where the game gets a little boring. Because um, you can't skip when you're flying out into the middle of nowhere. Um, and he, uh, he brought up an important point. You always need to have somebody traveling with you. As you can see, I've still got Mr. Gurney Halleck. Um, you can have two people at a time. Very rarely will you have two people with you. Um, especially early in the game. But, always have somebody with you in the Ornithopter because they, as you will see here shortly, will pop up and let you know that there's a siege. And I should have found it already. I'm not sure what that's about. There we go. like a siege there on the left. Go towards this place. We're pretty close, so I'm gonna let this play out so I can show you the full cutscene of what happens. Very, very nice graphics for its time. Oh, there it goes. As you can see, the map disappears and you crest over the ridge. And there it is, you see it? Pretty cool. Pretty cool. go. All right, let's go on in. Ooh, this one's multi, multi-roomed. Let's see if we can go forward some more. No, no, wait. We'd rather you didn't visit our siege. There's nothing here for you to see. Oh, fine. Welcome to our siege, Paul Atreides. Is that the same guy from, the, like, one of the other sieges with a different beard? That's a little funny. You want to know about the principles of our still suits. It's good that you're so keen to learn our ways. Cool. A still suit is basically a high efficiency filter. 
perspiration passes through the first layer and is gathered in the second. Salt is separated, and the reclaimed water circulates to catch pockets from which you can drink through a tube at your neck. That's kind of gross. So basically you're just drinking the same water you're already sweating out. So it won't really work forever. Breathing and walking provide the pumping action. Here are some steel suits for both of you, and I'll send some to your palace as well. All right, so we got a steel suit. We can last a little bit longer out in the desert, which isn't really important because you shouldn't be wandering around in the desert in this game in the first place. I know mostly it's just more boring. sieges in the vicinity whose leaders would be more than interested in meeting you, Paul Atreides. Travel north and east from here. North and east, which would be northeast. Heard of you? You are the son of the Atreides Duke and of Jessica the. They all keep uh, saying that. Uh, all right, I guess they're done talking. Let's welcome to make our sure he will work for yes, me. Yes, I agree to let my troops work for me. There we go. My troop is awaiting your orders. Specialized spice. spice. Oh, there we go. Harvesters. Let me show you the statistics of my troop. Give her a, give this guy a harvester. Harvesters are extra, extra important. They I'm greatly sure increase the speed harvester. of spice harvesting. But they also carry risk, which we will get to a little later. Um, I think we're going to leave it there for now, everybody. And we will pick up in the next video where we left off. We'll learn a, bit, a little bit more about the Fremen. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. We're planning lots of good stuff, lots of old oldies but goodies, maybe some stuff nobody's heard of, maybe some stuff you guys would even like to try out, so stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye.